Hi, I'm Ian Good. I'm our head football coach here at Kenyon College. Uh, I'm going into my seventh season here with the football program, second as head coach. So we've got some new coaches here on staff um, within the football program. Um, two returning uh, that have new titles, Brett McMurray. Um, he's moved from our defensive line coach to our defensive coordinator position, uh, as well as Blake Cottrell, who was here uh, he's going into his third year, uh, was the offensive line coach and recruiting coordinator, is now going to be serving as our offensive coordinator moving forward. Um, some other new additions that we had uh, from the spring and the summer, uh, Coach Dylan Hyatt, he's going to be working with our defensive backs. Uh, he actually played here in the league at DePaul, uh, graduated a couple years ago and was at Anderson University last year. Uh, we're also bringing in on the defensive side um, an intern uh, coaching our defensive line is Isaiah Fleming. Um, who recently graduated from Kalamazoo College uh, before coming here to Kenyon. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, Nate Wilson we just brought on as our full-time quarterbacks coach. Um, he's had a lot of coaching stops uh, in his, his time and um, has a lot of experience to bring with him. Um, also on the offensive side, we have Giante Hicks, um, who is an Ohio native, grew up in Cincinnati, uh, went down and played at uh, Mary Hardin Baylor for a couple of years before bouncing around to a couple um, other colleges to uh, get his coaching start as a student assistant and, and excited to bring him on, uh, bring him back to Ohio. And then Brian Carter, um, also going to be helping on the offensive side of the ball as well as with special teams um, with me. Um, he has a lot of years of experience as a high school teacher and coach out in California um, and is bringing um, his experience over here to our staff. Yeah, so we obviously lost a lot uh, from our offensive production this past year with um, graduating quarter, senior quarterback Ryan O'Leary, um, who had the ball in his hands almost every single play last year. Um, wide receivers Andrew Schnari and, and Finn Murray as well, and um, you know a couple other key pieces not with us this year. Um, so it, it's it's a big um, big shoe to fill, definitely. Um, but we've got a lot of young guys. Um, who are willing to step up in, in those skill positions. But I, will, I do want to talk about um, our offensive line, our quarterback position, and, and our running backs and our tight ends really the, are, are going to be the core of our offense. We have four returning offensive linemen that are going to be seniors and a fifth senior as well um, who played a little bit for us last year. So that's definitely going to be um, our rock on the offensive side of the ball this year. And then three running backs who all saw the field last year, uh, Drake Lewis, Jordan Benjamin, and, and Jay Thompson. Um, all very different in their style of play, but all very um, explosive in the way that they play as well. And then um, junior quarterback Park Penrod, I uh, saw the field a little bit last year. i um, excited to see uh, what we can do on the offensive side of the ball um, with our returners, but also with um, a lot of skilled, skilled guys coming in in that receiver position. Yeah, so last year we had a, a few issues on the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, giving up yards and points, and uh, I'm definitely excited to see how Coach McMurray's uh, new culture and new attitude and, and the way that he approaches his game planning, um, how that's going to shake out this year defensively. Um, you know, we're going to have some wrinkles that we're going to bring in. Um, also bringing in Coach Hyatt uh, to kind of bolster our, our defensive back end. Um, he played at a very, very high level here in this league, and, and even though he is a young coach, um, he's already brought a lot to, to the table for our DBs. And we've got a lot of young guys, so they relate to him. Um, and, and he's doing a great job so far. And then, um, you know, our biggest asset right now on the defensive side of the ball is our defensive line. We've got uh, returners in Andy Canonico, Andy Mellian, and Cole Garrison um, that are absolutely going to anchor our defense. And, and we will go as far as they go uh, this year. So I'm excited to see how they do. Being so close last year to getting to that 500 mark, uh, I definitely think that that's something that we're going to shoot for this year as a program. Uh, we try not to talk too much about wins and losses and, and the end result, more so about the process and what it takes to get there. So I think as long as we continue to focus on the steps that it's going to take every single week uh, to be prepared to compete um, in those big games, I think we're going to give ourselves a really great opportunity to, to take those close losses and, and maybe turn them into close wins. Um, and continue to close the gap on our opponents. Yeah, so something we talk about um, in the off-season, pre-season, during the season is, is all about our culture uh, our toughness, grit, and family. And, and the one that we truly focus on the most, I think, is building that family. Um, I feel like once we can build those relationships and we can build that trust and belief in one another, 
Um, that's what's going to keep us together in those close games. Um, and, you know, I think last year we set a really great foundation with the seniors that, that were there. Um, and then whatever returners that we have left, um, I think they bought into what we were trying to do and they worked really hard in the off season and not only, um, you know, getting their bodies right in the weight room, um, working hard in the classroom, but really getting to know one another and, and building that. And uh, we've got another challenge ahead of us this season. We're bringing in 26 freshmen. Um, so that's a, a big class of new people that have to learn our culture, uh, but also that our returners have to, to get to know them, to bring them in. Uh, to our program and what we do as quickly as possible. So um, I think we set a really good foundation uh, for years to come, and, and I think that will help us moving forward and getting guys acclimated as quickly as possible.